हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सर्क्युलर लिंक लिस्ट व्हाट इज सर्क्युलर लिंक लिस्ट हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एस एल एल एंड डी एल एल वॉट डिफरेंट ऑपरेशन वी कैन परफॉर्म ऑन अ सर्क्युलर लिंक लिस्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस होल वीडियो सीरीज बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेक टॉक्स and keep the bell ringing now let's start with the introduction to circular link list so these are different types of link list they are sll that is singly link list dll that is doubly link list and cll that is circular link list i have already covered the topics and the series related to singly link list and a doubly link list on my channel now let's discuss about circular link list let's see what is circular link list so the circular link list is a link list where all nodes are connected to form a circle now here how it is different from sll only the thing is that in a circular link list it forms a circle that's why the name is given circular link list there is no in in a at the end of the list because the null is replaced with the address of the first node to form a circle i am going to explain you all these things in detail once we will go forward in this video series a circular link list can be a singular say singly circular link list or a doubly circular link list these are two variations of a circular link list if it grows in a forward direction only that is in a single direction this is called as singly circular link list just same as of here i have mentioned just now and if it grows in both the direction that is in forward as well as in reverse direction it is called as doubly circular link list in this video series we are focusing on singly circular link list now let's see what is a node structure of a circular link list it is just same as of the singly link list that's why the node structure is also same that is the node is divided into two parts the first one is nothing but a data part which will hold the information of that node and the another one is nothing but a link to the next node that is will hold the address of the next node let's see how to form a circular link list initially to form any of the link list we supposed to create a node first of all so let's create a node assign address to that node and initially its next fill will be holding the value null but now this is a circular link list not a singly link list so this is only the change that this null is replaced with the address of the first node and the address of the first node is the address of the self node itself so that's why it will get pasted over here and it forms a logical link to the self node to form a circle this is only the difference between sll and the cll here in cll there is no any null value and always the null value is replaced with the address of the first node now let's consider i want to add one more element one more node in my cll so let's create a node what the changes we supposed to do here instead of the address of the first node now it will hold the address of the next node because more than one node are available now in a list or to form a list so that's why let's replace this address and it will remove this circular link and it will form the forward link from first node to the next node and as far as the cll is concerned this null is replaced with the address of the first node to form a circular link to the first node now for more understanding let's create one more node let's change this address to the address of the next node to form a logical link between these two nodes and let's replace this null with the address of the first node to form a circular link to the first node so in this way we can form the circular link list now here i am listing the operations that can be performed on a circular link list they are to create a link list to insert a node to delete a node to traverse a link list and to search a node 
these are all are the operations just same as of we can perform in sll as well as dll only the difference is that we supposed to maintain the rules with respect to circular link list that is the there will not be any null in a circular link list and the last node will hold the trace of the first node to form a circle of the link list so in this way we supposed to follow these only the rules to to perform these many operations to learn more about operations on a circular link list i would like to request you to please stay tuned with my channel tech talks and stay tuned with the video series circular link list now let's start with the second video of this video series is to create to perform create operation on a circular link list among these different operations let's focus on a create operation of a circular link list now before moving to the creation operation we must know the node structure of a link list circular link list where we supposed to divide every node into two parts the first one is data part and another one is link to the next node now the node structure will be just same as of the singly link list only the difference is that at the end of the list instead of null we supposed to paste the address of the first node let's perform the create operation on a circular link list so let's create a head node first of all and then what we have to do we have to instead of this null, null address we have to paste the address of the self node because this is the single node right now available in our link list so that's why it will hold the address of the first node that is the self node to form a logical link a circular link to the self node suppose i want to add one more node let's create a node and what we have to do we have to update this address location to the address with the, the newly created node and it will form a logical link between these two nodes and at the end instead of this null we have to paste the address of the first node to form a circular link to the first node and now let's add one more node let's create it update this field to the address of the next node to form a logical link between these two nodes and at the end instead of null let's paste the address of the first node to form a logical circular link to the head node how to perform traverse operation on a circular link list these many different operations we can perform on a circular link list from which in a previous video session we have seen how to create a circular link list and now let's focus on the traverse operation on a circular link list to traverse it in forward direction now let's see this is the circular link list is available with me and if i want to traverse it in forward direction what the steps i supposed to follow so very first thing we have to start with the head node so let's highlight the head node after that we have to traverse a circular link list till the next node or the address field of the node is holding the address of the head node because this is the circular link list that's why from where we will come to know that the link list is we have traversed with the all nodes by checking the next field of every node if it holds the address of the head node because this is a circular link list we supposed to stop at this position so what we have we have to do traverse circular link list till the next field of a node is a head node so let's check for this particular node is it head node no so that's why we can move forward and let's make this as a current node let's check whether its next field is equal to the head node no it's not equal to head node again we have to move forward before that we have to display the information field of the node to traverse it let's move forward let's check whether its head whether its next field is holding the address of the head node yes it is holding the address of the next 
uh, it it is holding the dress of the head node so that's why it indicates that this is nothing but the end of the list and we will stop at this position now let's start with the insertion operation on a circular linked list these many operations we can perform on a circular linked list they are just same as of the sll and dll but how to operate circular linked list through these operations that i am going to explain you in this video series i have already explained the operation to create circular linked list i have again already uh, explained how to traverse a circular linked list and now let's begin with the insertion of node in a circular linked list that we can insert at these three different position from which let's start with at beginning how to insert a node at the beginning so for the insertion of the node at the beginning we have this linked list with us from which this is my head node currently but whenever i want to insert a new node i should have to create a node first so let's create a node at different address location so i have created a node after that what is my next step I, my next step is assign head to the next of the new node so this head node current head node we supposed to assign it to the next of this newly created node to find or to form a link between these two nodes so after doing these changes you can see over here the logical link is formed between these two nodes then what we have to do we have to traverse the circular link list till next of the node is head means you have to traverse till this position let's traverse it why to traverse at this position because this is a circular link list and now the circular link list is holding the address of previous head now as we want to insert a new node at the beginning now this node is going to become a new head node so that's why the address of this new node will get replaced with the next field of the last node of the link list so that's why update the next field of a current node with the new node so let's see over here i am changing the address location that will be the address of the newly created node and it will form a link to the new node a circular link and now the last step is to make a new node as a head node so let's remove this head from this position and let's make this node as a head node so these are the steps we supposed to follow to insert a node at the beginning of the circular link list now let's start with the insertion of a node in between into the circular link list so let's assume this link list is with us and we supposed to insert a new node in between into the circular link list so first of all whenever we want to insert a node in in between what we have to do we have to need to traverse the circular link list till the desired node why because after that desired node we are going to insert a new node so for this first of all we have to use the traversal technique traversal algorithm starting from the head node so let's assume i want to insert a node after 20 so let's start from the head node let's check whether that is desired node no this one is also not desired node this one is the desired node after which i want to create a uh, sorry i want to insert a node so now at this moment what we have to do we have to create a new node as we have created a new node after that what we have to do we have to update the next field of this newly created node with the address of the next node that is the current node ka next we supposed to paste over here you can see and it will form a logical link between these two nodes now what will be the next step that we have to follow we have to update the next field of a current node with the address of the new node so let's update it you just look over here and i am updating this address and after updating this link will get vanish and it will form a new logical link between these two nodes so in this way the new node is added in between into the circular link list now the last point where where we can insert a node at the end of the link list so let's insert a node at the end of the link list a circular link list is that now let's assume this is my circular link list is available with me and i want to insert a node after this particular node 
how could i come to know this is the last node by knowing the trace of the head node we will come to know that this is the last node and after this i have to insert a node into the circular link list for that let's start the traversal till the end of the list and we are at the end of the list by identifying the next field is holding the address of the head node so let's stop at this position after this let's create a new node a new node is created after that what we have to do we have to form a link between these two nodes so let's see over here i am changing the address of the next field of the current node to the newly created node that is 65930 and after that we what we have to do this this link will get remove and this null field we have to update with the address of the head node so now let's see what we are going to do the next thing so let's remove this link and after that let's update the field of the uh, next field of the last node that is newly created node to the head node to form a circular link in a circular link list so in this way we have inserted a node at the end of the list now let's start with the delete operation on a circular link list how to perform delete operation on a circular link list that we will see in this video session these many operations we have already seen in this video series so now let's start with the delete node from a cll where we can delete the node from these three different positions from which the start with first one that is delete a node from beginning so now if you want to delete a node from the beginning let's consider this is a circular link list we are having this is the head node second node third node fourth node fifth node and sixth node so total six nodes are there and to delete a node from the beginning my first step is delete a head node but before that we have to make next of a head node as a new head node means this one this node uh, this is my current head node so uh, let's con let's uh, start with the head node this is the head node and its next field we have to make this as a head node first of all so this is my new head node after this we have to update the last update the last node with the address of the new head node means at this field we have to update the address of the new head node so let's for that we have to traverse till this node let's assume that we have already traversed at this node and let's update the address of the next field now here you just observe uh, at this position that we are removing this link and now we are making a link to this node and now after that now we are free to delete the old head node so this head node we are if we are going to delete now there will not be any harm and now the last step is the new head node variable is get updated with the head to indicate that now my this head is the or this node is the head of my link list a circular link list so in this way we have insert we have deleted a node from the beginning that is the first node a head node we have deleted now the second one at in between or from in between if i want to delete a node what the steps i need to follow so let's assume that i want to delete this particular node so to delete a node from in between first of all we supposed to accept a key node from the user which i want to delete so let's consider that my key node is 200 which i want to delete now what we have to do we have to search for that node which you want to delete by traversing the list if the node is present i can delete it if the node is not present the we can't delete the node as the node is not present so let's start with the head node and start the traversal by taking the care of two variables a pointer variable a previous and a current node we have to do this task so this is my previous node and this is my current node so let's check whether the current node is holding the the value which you want to delete no so let's move forward this is the previous node and this one is the current node now let's check whether this current node is holding that the value of which we want to delete the node that is a key node they are equal then what the steps we have to follow now you have to 
keep in mind that what the steps we have to follow what we have done right now here you can see that the address location in the next field of a previous node will hold the address of the next field of the current node okay so this is 65730 here this address will get updated at this position and it will form a logical link between these two nodes and ultimately we we are going to remove this particular link after this what what the next step we have to follow we have to delete this particular node and after deletion of this node we have done with our task that is the deletion of node from in between so in between node we have deleted and now we are having one two three four nodes with us now the last part of this circular list delete operation from end of the list so if i want to delete a node from end of the list then what the steps we have to follow so delete a node from the end of the list let's consider we are having these nodes with us four nodes with us and from which we have to delete this last node so let's traverse a circular link list till end of the list how could you come to know the end of the list it means that we have to identify the next of node is head that is 65530 is the address of the head node so let's traverse till that node starting from the head and after that what we have to do we have to delete this node for this we supposed to maintain the previous and the current pointers just same as of the previous example that is deletion of the node in between so let's assume we are our pre previous pointer at this position let's update this pointer with the address of the head node so what it will do it will remove this link and instead of that after deletion of that node let's update the circular link from this node to the head node to indicate that it is a circular link list so in this way we can delete the last node of the circular link list in this video session i am explaining you the concept of search operation on a circular link list here i am focusing on how to perform search operation on a circular link list these many operations we have already seen in this video series now let's move forward for the search node operation so to perform a search node operation on cln let's assume that i am having this link list a circular link list with me and i want to search any particular node so to search a particular node first of all we supposed to accept a key from user which we want to search in a circular link list so i am accepting a key it's 20 which i want to search so if the key found search is successful else search is unsuccessful and to traverse a link list we supposed to start from a head node so let's start with the head node let's compare its information part with the key are they equal no let's move forward let's compare the key value with its information part are they equal yes they are equal and it indicates that my search is successful now let's go forward for the another searching where to search a node let's accept a key which is 200 if key found search is successful otherwise search is unsuccessful so let's start with the head node let's compare it with the information part and the key both are unequal let's move forward are they equal the key value and its information part they are not equal let's move forward whether the key and the information part are equal no they are not equal but we, here we can't move forward otherwise we will go round and round and we will not get the desired output so we have to stop at this position and why to stop because the next field of this current node is nothing but the address of the head node it indicates that end of the list so that's why we supposed to stop at this position and indic it indicates that my search is unsuccessful as the search the key value which i want to search is not present with my link list so it indicates that my search is unsuccessful so in this way we can perform the search operation on cll so thank you friends for listening and watching my video if you like the video and its content please do not forget to give the comment as well as do not forget to share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for my channel tech talks and the whole video series i am going to provide you in the form of playlist thank you happy data structuring happy learning thank you